Hi, I'm Benjamin with NAS Solar Electric, and today we're going to be looking at the new hybrid inverter for Midnight Solar. It's called the All in One, and we're going to go look at all the bells and whistles and specs that it has. This inverter here, during backup operation or off-grid operation, is rated for 11.4 kilowatts during the day with sun, or 10 kilowatts just running off the batteries during night. It can surge to 20 kilowatts to start large loads. It can even do 13 kilowatts per leg to start large 120 volt loads. All right, up here we have the little LED panel. It kind of shows a quick overview of what's happening in the inverter. If there's solar, if what's the batteries, if the grid's there, if there's any alarms. And then down here we have the LCD screen. It's not a touch panel, but um, it gives us a rolling kind of information, solar, batteries, kind of what power we're using. And if there's any alarms, we can see that here from the LCD screen. Here on the right side, we have the Wi-Fi LAN dongle. This allows us to remotely monitor our, our inverter using a phone with the app or with a web page using their cloud service. Here on the left side, we have the latches for the cover. We have the power button right here so we can turn it on and off and um, turn on the LCD screen. We also have our PV disconnect up here. All right, let's now open up the cover and kind of look inside. Now that we have the cover off, we're gonna kind of look at what breakers and what things are inside. We're gonna start here on the right. Um, we have the AC input and output breakers. These are 100 amp rated. Um, Midnight uses CBI breakers. These breakers are 100% duty rated, so we can actually put 100 amps through these breakers. To the left here, we have three smart breakers. These smart breakers can be used for smart loads, like three different sized 240 volt or 120 volt loads, or we can actually program them for inputs also. This one right here, the 50 amp breaker can be used for an AC couple array. So we can put like 10,000 watts of microinverters or string inverters into this inverter to charge the batteries and power loads during the day. Here on the left, we have a 60 amp breaker for a generator for like off-grid applications where we want a generator to charge the batteries or for extended outages. All three of these breakers can be used as outputs that are configurable for when they turn on and off based on battery uh, state of charge. So during an outage, we could have these loads start to turn off uh, in, in a sequence to conserve battery power. So we could have like a hot tub or like a, a, a non-essential air conditioning on these loads that we could shed to conserve battery power for extended outages. And then over here, we have four 120 volt breakers. These can be like essential loads like fridges and lighting that we want to dir run directly off of this. We can use those breakers or we can always have them off of our essential panel um, that, that runs during an outage. Here we have a 300 amp battery breaker, 48 volts, can handle a lithium battery or a lead acid battery. Inverter is compatible with both. All right, let's now take off this cover and see all the connections inside. Here on the bottom of the inverter, we have our PV inputs. We have three P MPPT inputs. Each MPPT can handle two strings, 600 volts. So we can have a total of 15 kilowatts of solar connected to this midnight all-in-one inverter. This inverter does come included with an AP Smart transmitter to satisfy rapid shutdown. Here we have our various different communication ports. On the far right, we have our parallel ports. This inverter, we can parallel up to nine of these for large applications, and we're gonna use communication here to have all the inverters talk together. Here we have our BMS communication from our lithium batteries. This inverter is compatible with lead acid batteries and lithium batteries. It's designed to work with the midnight batteries. Um, other, other batteries on the market that use standard BMS communication is probably compatible with this, like Pites, Discover, fortress. Here we have our external CTs. This port here is to monitor loads that are 
before the inverter. So between our grid meter and our inverter, we can have large AC loads and stuff that's not essential during an outage. This inverter during day-to-day -day operations can offset those loads, reducing our usage from the grid. And then we have various different other inputs and outputs here. Um, one, for example, would be the generator. So we can start and stop the generator based on state of charge. You might notice that this inverter doesn't have a 200 amp pass-through. That is intentional from Midnight's engineers. They have found over the course of many years that having a large pass-through causes issues where during an outage, we have more loads than the inverter can handle, causing it to overload and shut down. So they have a 100 amp pass-through that is adequate to power all of our essential loads, like our Wi-Fi, our internet, our lighting, our fridge, our freezer, and kind of basically any essential loads. We also have these smart loads here that we can use to turn on and off other, other loads that might not be essential, but are definitely want to run during an outage. This kind of design guarantees that we don't run too much on this inverter during an outage to overload it. You don't ever want to have a period where you overload your inverter during an outage and everything shuts off. So limiting what we have connected to the essential load output breaker kind of helps guarantee that. The Midnight AIO inverter does have UO listings. For example, it has the 1741, 1741SB, and California rule listings. For a full list of them, check the description. We'll have a link to the data sheet that has all of them. I hope you're excited with, about this inverter as I am. Um, please like and subscribe. We're gonna do more content on this inverter to come. We're gonna wire it up here at this house and run the house and other various shop and other tools off of it just to test the capabilities of this inverter. In the meantime, if you have questions, don't hesitate. Give us a call, check out our website. We have lots of information there. We're here to help you plug into solar.